it's about hitting your marks. So uh, as, as you know, so 120 square page screenplay, um, three acts or four acts, depending how you count it. And you, you need to hit your marks. You have room for flexibility within that? Sure, but you, you better know your marks and love them and have some ideas what the turning points are, what the major complications, what the low points are going to be. And it turns out writing a sonnet is very identical. Depending on what kind of sonnet that you are writing, um, you have to uh, figure out how in 14 lines, usually, um, how you uh, accomplish what's called the proposition and the turn and the conclusion in an English sonnet, or the, the Italians uh, muck it up with ballade and volta and, and envoy. And in that very, very short space, there are certain things you need to do in those first eight lines, which is lay out a situation, a, a, a romance or a desired romance. And then there's there's a turning point within it. It's actually literally called the turn in an English sonnet or Volta, an Italian sonnet. And you have to figure out how to turn it. Say, this is, this is my messy romantic situation. But uh, in the end, I will love her forever in spite of all of her faults and, and flaws. So you have a mini um, story structure in that form. And it's very tight and very precise. Does it have to be romantic? Well, no, it can be about any subject matter whatsoever. So um, most sonnets have been written about philosophical problems, been written about romantic problems, have been written about political problems. Um, no, it's, it's, it's much like screenplay form. You, you can take the basic story structure and modify it for any topic or theme that you're interested in.